up you guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey my name is Amanda today's Zara haul is a little something different than what I've done before I decided why not do jeans and a cute top haul every girl can get behind jeans and a cute top I feel like it's a very easy go-to for anybody so that's exactly what we're doing I have all these gorgeous tops up here lined up behind me so let's just get into it so something I wanted to share with you guys before I get into all these really cute tops is something that you guys have been noticing in my other videos that I haven't really talked about yet, and it's this new watch that I've been wearing. A couple of you guys have asked me about this, and now I'm ready to talk about it. This watch was gifted to me by Joissa. I really needed a new watch in my wardrobe. I feel like I didn't have an everyday watch that looked good with everything, that could pull off different styles. I have, you if you guys know any Anything about me you know that I have several different styles when it comes to my clothing and the things that I wear and I really wanted something that would go with everything and just kind of fit that gold aesthetic that I love so I decided to go with the all gold watch and I get so many compliments on this and if you look really closely there's beautiful crystals in the face the face is square too. I really wanted something square. I just feel like the square is a little bit more modern. I think that this is so unique too because it kind of has this like faceted princess cut face on it and I've never seen that before. I think it's so unique and so cool and it just kind of give you that luxurious expensive feel. This watch doesn't only come in gold though so if you are wanting one of those maybe something trendy like a gold watch with a green face. They have that really beautiful kind of emerald green face option. They have red, they have blue. There's so many different options on their website and it was really, really hard for me to pick one. If you guys know anything about Swiss brands, you know that they make really good quality watches. So I feel like that makes it worth investing in a piece like this. I honestly have worn this with almost every outfit that I've worn since I received it. So if that doesn't tell you something, then I don't know what does. I do have a discount code for you guys where you can get 15% off. So I'll link that in the description box below so that you guys can get a 15% off discount on your new watch. This is also something that would be really great as a gift. I believe they also make watches for men too. So that is a really good idea as a gift. So thank you so much to Joissa for gifting me this watch. It's a lifesaver and it honestly brings everything in my wardrobe together. Love it. Chef's kiss. Okay, moving on, we're gonna get started on the tops that I picked up from Zara. So the first one that I got is this gorgeous green satin like um, crop top kind of corset type of top. Uh, I got this in a size medium. It zips on the side and it does have, it doesn't have any of those like rubber things on the inside to make it stay up. So the issue, honestly, the issue that I found with this top is that I think I should have sized up because in the cups right here, when I'm pulling it up, the cup, because there's no rubber thing that's attaching to your skin, it flips over and it doesn't, and it doesn't stay upright. So I think that may be because you need to size up in something like this. Zara, it would have been really helpful if you had put those little rubbery, sticky things that grab to your skin because I love this top, but honestly, it's just not gonna work. I may try a large, maybe I'll find it in store and try it and see if that size works for me, but honestly, I think you do need to size up in this top for it to work. And I think that the crop stops like right at the belly button so it works with high-waisted jeans and things like that if you don't really want to show too much stomach this is something that you could definitely wear with high-waisted jeans i think it would also be really cute with like the silky button-up shirt kind of over it and having it open with the corset underneath i think that that green is actually the same color as this so i think those two would also look really cute together all right the next top that i got is this lime green silky top it has an open back uh, the straps are adjustable, which is great. You can adjust it at the top here where the halter is, and it has a cowl neck here in the front. It ties in the back. I love that. You can really make it as cinched in as you want or as loose as you want, and it looks good both ways. I've tried it. I decided that I needed a top like this that I could wear with those sparkly green shoes that I've showed you that I got from Zara 
in the past couple videos. They go so well together, and I think that this is a great going out top for a night where you don't wanna wear a skirt, you don't wanna wear a dress, maybe you just want to wear a really nice top and a pair of pants and some heels. So this is perfect for that, and I think that this is so cute. I, I adore this. Oh, and I got this top in a size medium. All right, the next one that I have is this boho kind of bohemian style halter top top. I think that this is adorable. The stitching on this, I thought it was white, but I think it's more of like an accru color because I paired this with some accru jeans, which I'll talk about. You guys are going to see me trying them on. I'll talk about them later in the video, but um, once I put on those jeans, I realized that the stitching is accru. Not mad at it. I think it's adorable. Um, you can kind of see through these these hole patterns right here where the stitching is. So keep that in mind. You can definitely wear this without a bra, but I would suggest maybe some nipple covers or something like that. Um, these in the front, there's two real ties in the front, so I think that's cool. You can pull it as close together as you want to or as loose as you want to. And then the back is kind of a scrunchy back. Um, it's fully open here, it ties here at the top so you can adjust the height of how high your top goes. Um, there's no adjustment in the back, it's just sort of a scrunchy back. Um, it is a little bit revealing, so I don't know how appropriate it would be to wear like with your kids or like around your family or something like that. <laughs> I'm thinking for me personally because I don't think that I would wear this while I'm out with my kids. This top okay i've had my eye on her for quite a while I, as soon as this came out on the website i knew that i needed to have it and one thing that i love okay i love beige and black together it's not white it's not cream it's beige so if you can see there i think that those two colors complement each other it doesn't give such a harsh contrast as like white and black so I think that this is really cute. This is also, it feels like a linen-y kind of a material. I don't know if it's actually linen. I don't think that it is, but that's what it feels like anyways. Uh, it sort of has like a peplum bottom right here in the front, scoop neck, and it kind of scrunches right here. And then you have these ruffles on the front of it. This is so cute. It's not like waist snatching or anything like that. It's just sort of like a peplum flowy kind of a top that you could wear with jeans or some other pants. Um, the back of it connects kind of like where a racer back would connect with a stitch. So that's not adjustable. The straps are not adjustable. The back of it, and I was worried because there's no zipper to get into this, but actually it was very easy to get into because the back of it is another scrunchy back, like that pink one. The front of it is not too restricting, so I feel like it'll fit average size boobs. I didn't have any issue fitting into this, and I am a C right now. I wore this with the Accru jeans, and I actually wore it when I went house hunting. If you guys saw my TikTok, you'll see me wearing this in an outfit and that house hunting TikTok that I did. And I wore it with my Accru jeans and my black and gold loafers. I thought that was such a cute look. The loafers were like a last minute add-on and I loved it. The next top is another kind of bohemian style top. I wanted to get my hands on this one for a while too. I think again, this is either a really lightweight cotton. Yeah, I think it's cotton. I don't think it's linen. It is semi-sheer. Um, so it's, it's a very good summer kind of a top or maybe vacation kind of a top. It's very lightweight, it's very airy. The stitching and pattern on it, again, is in a crew color. And then it has these kind of beige buttons on it. This is sort of cropped uh, and then it has sleeves that, you, that have a scrunchy end on it so you can pull it up your sleeve, it'll stay pulled up and then this is the back of it. It's just a very easy to wear, comfortable, lightweight, flowy, cute top. That was a lot of words. Um, but again, I paired this with my Accru jeans. You guys, my Accru jeans are coming in clutch because they go with pretty much all of the tops that I picked up. Like, what was I doing before I got those? I don't even know. Uh, I got this in a small though. This is pretty oversized for, I mean, I knew that it was gonna be loose and flowy, so I did get it in a small, and I'm glad that I did. I think that the medium would just be a little too oversized and flowy, so I like it in a small. This next top, can we talk about this next top? Oh my God, she is so gorgeous. Um, this is a gorgeous green color. 
I am not sure how to describe this green color. It's like a mix of lime, chartreuse, I don't even know. I don't even know, it's just beautiful. I'm not sure what the material is, but you guys can see it's very crinkly, it is sheer. Um, it feels almost chiffon -y, but it has more texture than that. So uh, honestly, it's not coming to my mind right now. Um, but I think this is gorgeous. It has these two little um, tied up loops at the front here with these little ties. So you can tie them together, but I think it looks beautiful just flowing open like this. I envision wearing this kind of tucked in in the front of pants or shorts or something like that. This color also looks really good with gold. So love that for me because you guys know that I wear a lot of gold. The sleeves are very balloony. They have this scrunchy thing on the end and you can push it all the way up your arm towards your elbow and just kind of have it flowing loose down like that. That looks really good. It also looks really good with the sleeves all the way down. And again, I paired this with the Accru jeans and I love this. This is perfect for summer and for vacation and just looking cute on a hot day. The next top is something that I've showed you guys before. I showed it to you in, I think my vacation looks Etc. haul, Zara haul that I did recently. And I decided to keep her. You guys really encouraged me to keep her and I'm glad that I did. I found a way, I found ways that I really like to wear this. And I also think that this is a great vacation summer top. It can be used for both. Um, it's a great going out top too. So I think that this style has so many different purposes that you can use it for. Um, it has very long ties in the front here if you guys haven't seen it before and then very loose flowy sleeves. I again paired this with my Accru jeans. Honestly, if you don't have a pair of Accru jeans, you need to go get some. Uh, but I love the way that this looks with the gold and the Accru jeans. I think it's just gorgeous. I love this. Just jeans and a cute top. The next top is a shirt that I've wanted to get for the longest time and it's this cobalt blue satin effect button-up shirt. This is a lot brighter I will say in person than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was a lot darker but it has a lot more like fluorescent aspect to it than I thought which I love. I'm really glad it's not like a dull, well, when is cobalt blue ever dull? Actually, let me take that back. It's just beautiful. <laughs> and it looks really cute with my lime green bralette, which I've showed you guys before in one of my colorful hauls. I envisioned this color with a lime green bralette, some white or a crew jeans. I haven't decided yet. Also, it looks really good with a white skirt too on a night out, so there's that. Um, but yeah, this is just a very effortlessly sexy, beautiful, bright colored silky top that you can wear out on a night out. You could wear it to dinner. It's appropriate. You can wear it with family. Like it's, you can't go wrong with this, honestly. And they come in so many beautiful colors like that green color. I need that. And I got this one in a medium, by the way. Okay, let's get into the jeans that I was wearing. I told you guys I picked up a couple new pairs of jeans. These are the Accru ones that I've been talking about in this entire video. They are stretchy, they are skinny jeans, and I really felt like I wear so many flowy, kind of oversized tops that I really felt like I was lacking in, in the balance of my outfits with wearing something tight on the bottom. I don't really like to wear something loose and flowy on top and loose and flowy on bottom. It's just not flattering for me. So I was on the hunt for some skinny jeans and I found these beauties, okay? I got these in a, my true size eight. They are very stretchy. I honestly thought when I picked this up in the mail and I opened them in the box that they weren't gonna fit me, but they're so stretchy that they work. These are, I think they're called the high rise sculpt, but I'll leave it somewhere on the screen just to verify what they are. So if anything, I would say stay true to size with these jeans, with the skinny jeans at least. I love the way that these fit. They are very high waisted on me, but um, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I have a short torso. So they may be higher waisted on me than they are on somebody else. Um, 
so I don't really know how high, high waisted they will be for you, but if you look on the website and then you see me trying them on, you can see that they are pretty high waisted and I believe they're advertised as high waisted, so I love that for me. Anything high waisted, I love it. And last but not least, another beautiful pair of jeans is a white skinny jean. The fit of this is called something different than the Accru color. I'm not really remembering what it's called, but it will be on the screen below. Again, I stayed true to size and got these in my true size US 8. I love these. I needed a white pair of jeans and yeah, I would say stay true to size in these ones also. They're very stretchy. They stretch out just as much as the accrued ones. Also, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I did a poll where I was asking you guys um, for Q&A questions that you would ask me or my family, my kids, my fiance, whoever. Um, I am filming a day in the life. I did a poll on Instagram, like I said, and a lot of people voted for day in the life. Some people voted for Q&A, so I'm gonna do both. Um, I am gonna post a poll also on YouTube so if you go to the community tab on my channel, you should be able to see the poll there. If you don't see it pop up on your feed, go ahead and vote. Let me know what you guys want to ask me. I want to answer your questions. You know, I feel like we've gotten to know each other very much so over the last year and a half. Has it been a year and a half already? Yeah, I feel like it has. So yeah, go ahead and put your questions below and I will try to answer all of them. And I hope that you guys like my day in the life video. I am really trying to add additional videos to my channel and something that I love is lifestyle content. I'm really trying to bring that more into my channel in addition to my fashion stuff on this channel. So if that's something that you guys would be interested in seeing from me, please let me know down below because I don't wanna be putting stuff out that you guys aren't gonna enjoy. And I know there are a lot of you out there that do love when I do vlogs and things like that. And I'm trying to really fine tune it and find my aesthetic with my vlogs, okay? So let me know down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and switch up something a little bit different and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You're only human, yeah.